guys welcome back to my channel now the part two um i was in my last video going to be talking about how i feel about the app um how i think it should be going on you know things like that i'm going to be talking about how i feel about um the rules at the moment what I like, what I don't like, you know, it's, hopefully you enjoy, um, hopefully you say how you feel in the comments down below, I'd love to read your comments, I'd love for you to express how you're feeling about it, you know, I've had lots and lots of opinions, um, and you know what, some of you say, really interesting points I will say that so other than all of that let's just get started so <clears throat> the first topic is going to be about the app now we all know what's happened with it what it told me to do and I'm still doing that you know I'm still self isolating if I am downstairs like I am now and I'm near family I want to protect my family and myself so I know to just pop a mask on you know my actual mask is currently upstairs but I have spare ones here downstairs I've got quite a few and I need to wash them as regularly as I can and you know it's so important people think just get a mask oh you know i don't need to wash it let's you, you do and you know as we know the app told me to self-isolate now i'm still not going to mention any names apart from that one time when i made a mistake it just happened you know i could have edited it out but i didn't know how to edit back then and i'm not going to re-upload it I just, I'm leaving it I've always apologised for doing it at one time so <clears throat> I have had lots of people privately message me some people I don't know a lot of people I do know but I just want to thank you all for your messages because they really helped cheer me up helped me feel a bit better about things genuinely and the app you know what it told me to do <clears throat> a lot of messages from you guys were saying to me that the app had told you all to do the same to isolate for two weeks or more or less or and it does have a countdown it says you've got so and so days left you know this week left and it, every day it said you know and you've all said that you're all fine, you've done what the app told you to do, um, you know, you did do that. Some of you had messaged me um, and said to me, oh, my app told me I had the virus and I'm fine. And honestly, lots of people are just, the reason why the, I think, the reason why the app is saying you've, you've got it or you need to do a so-and-so, it's because when you have gone out food shopping or you know for whatever you needed to go out for you've been near others that have got the symptoms or have got it and don't know they've got it or like I said in my last video idiots that know that they've got you know stuff going on and they know not to work but still are right anyway there's that there's you know you've got the people that don't care simply just do not care and will do what they want when they want because they think oh this is a dictatorship we're being told what to do and we're being you know are not being told what to do by no one you got that kind which i'm not happy about because yes it might feel like that to some people but if you have a pandemic we have to protect ourselves and other people why certain people can't see it that way i have no idea and then you have the other 
people that are very they care they they are doing as you know is being told to do and you know yes people have complained about you know the rules and what needs to be done at the moment there's nothing you know that we can really do apart from our best and you know yes some people may get upset (laughs) and scared about what the app has said but I'm not worried anymore you know yes I'm bored but who isn't gonna get bored you know and, and it's two weeks when you've got housework and other things you need to do you know as long as you wear a mask and all the rest of it I think you're gonna be all right and I just think I can't spend two weeks in my bedroom yes I was told I have to the only thing I, I'm allowed to leave my room for is the toilet um, if I want food and drink it will have to be um, given to me but I just think but I don't want to feel useless so I want to feel like helpful whenever you know and all the rest of it so I just think I can still do all that I just if I'm going to be near family uh, I, I know to wear a mask you know, and I, I, I'm near a family member now, so I am actually about to put it on. But I think, I think you guys, you, you, you get the message. And, um, you know, I just think, I don't know. Do you, I don't know whether it's important and worth getting it, the app. Or whether it's a waste of time. I don't know. I don't know what you guys think. But. I, I, I just. Right now I'm downstairs on my own. I can take it off. Um, I'm going to keep this. Short and sweet. Because I've got other things. That's going on. I'm going to chill. With a film. Just just to try and take my mind off off of this whole thing and you know just forget for 10 minutes you know I think when you're self-isolating the last thing you want to remind yourself of is that you're self-isolating and you want a distraction and I think we deserve a distraction don't we um I now want to very quickly move on to the rules at the minute I was watching a TikTok earlier and I was watching a guy and he was saying so lots of kids in a school is allowed 30 odd whatever it is in a pub is allowed but more than six people in a home at Christmas is not allowed that had me think about it for a minute and I think some people have big ish houses and big ish rooms that there's enough room for people I believe to social distance some people like me don't have the biggest of houses I understand that but I just think why allow all that with the pubs and the schools but why limit the numbers when it comes to the most important and most people's favourite time of year you know I just think as long as we wear our masks in social distance for a while why can't we have morning six Christmas it's the time that most people love because you're coming together or being together you know as a family being with a family I just I don't as long as we social distance I don't see what the problem is and if we wrap up warm we might want to chill out in the garden or we could still see all the family but spread it out so have a group of six in the morning and then they go and then another group of six I just think if you split it up and have different groups of six turn up yes 
you haven't had more than six but you've still seen everyone I just think if you did something like that not only would you be following the rules and doing the right thing to protect yourself and everyone else around you and following the law and doing what Boris is saying we need to do we can still see all of our family I just think if you spread it out I don't see any issue with that comment down below you tell me what you think whether you think that would be something you might want to end up doing I will talk to my family and I will see if that's something that they may want to think about possibly doing having separate groups go at different times so that we still get to see each other I don't know we have to see what happens and my last thing that I want to now to discuss quickly is Halloween because we all know that's around the corner I mean that's this month as we know I was you know people everyone's saying and I that Halloween is cancelled but why does it have to be cancelled I mean I know why they've cancelled it I just mean if kids wore a face mask and they didn't get too close you know to other kids and parents and people's front doors when they're saying trick or treat I just think if they did it that way could they now not cancel it could they say oh it's back on you know but could parents get their kids to keep a face mask on that whole time I, I don't know because I know a lot of kids that will say I, I, I you know I don't want to feel like I have to wear a face mask just to do trick or treating and I just think if your household has a little party and still does something fun to end, entertain the kids if they can't trick or treat I just think you should you should you should do something I wouldn't want to if I had kids I wouldn't want to not celebrate it because I know a lot of kids that like Halloween that will want to celebrate it. You have to let me know what you think in the comments about Halloween. and It'd be nice to know what your plans are with Halloween, with Christmas. If you've made plans, you probably want to wait till last minute in case there's new rules. People want... A lot of people want Boris to change the rules just so we can have the Christmas like we had last year. For our safety, I'm not sure he will be doing that. And I, and I just think our safety comes before what we want. And yes, we don't like it. But wouldn't you rather be safe? You know, and, and have it limited then have everyone over not be safe and then oh we can't see anyone next year because we weren't sensible i just think there's a line and i don't think we should cross it yes i want the fun great christmas to go this year the way it went last year and it won't happen but you know we we need to understand that Yes, it might not be as good as it's been before, but at least we're still having a Christmas. We can still see people. I'd rather that than not have one at all, because I think nobody would want it where we can't have one at all. You know? And the same with Halloween. Yeah. So this is a very short um, part two. Um, I'm going to go upstairs, watch a film, and just stay in my room for a bit until dinner later. Um, I don't want to be handling food at the moment, just in case. Um, my boyfriend, I 
sat downstairs in the kitchen with my mask on yesterday and guided him through to help him with dinner because he hadn't really made a curry before and I wanted to talk him through the way that I do it the way you know and it was really really nice I must have guided him really well because it tasted lovely. I wish I could have had seconds, but there wasn't any more and I would have liked that because it was really, really good. It just goes to show that I must know Curry well enough to have taught him well enough for him to have done it as well as he did. And I'm doing the same later, I'm going to sit in the kitchen, mask on guide him and talk him through how to do the dinner make sure that he's you know and he wants to learn how to cook anyway so that if i ever can't or i just want to break he can just say i know how to do it i can get on with it you know i think it's brilliant <laughs> anyway i really hope that this has helped you in any way I hope you enjoyed, if you like videos like this I can make more, you just have to let me know. Anyway, thank you so much for watching, I love you all so much and I'll see you next time, bye.